Hello colleagues, welcome to our presentations. So in this presentation, which is presentation number one, we are dealing with the quadratic equations. Actually, I must be quick to mention that this is the, the introductory part. So we we'll have to define or look at the, what a quadratic equation is. So we are saying a quadratic equation is an equation in this form. Where you have ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, what that means is that a, b, and c are constants. By constants, we mean they are just ordinary numbers. All right. Now, how do you show that we are dealing with a quadratic equation? Uh, you can do that if at all the highest degree of the change is a 2. All right. The highest power is a what? A 2. Okay. But you have to make sure that a should not be 0. Because if a is 0, then it will change from quadratic to a linear equation. Now, to solve a quadratic equation simply means you have to find the solutions okay, to that equation. Whereby when you substitute, the answer will be zero. All right? Now, to do that, we have got about um, four methods. We have got a graphical method, factorization method, a quadratic formula method, and completing the square. All right? But uh, in these presentations, we only deal with the three. The graphical method, I think, will be cut out as we deal with the cubic functions. Okay? So now, for this presentation, I'll look at uh, how we can solve quadratic equations using factorization method. Now, the kind of factorization method that we are going to do will not include the, the product sum and the factors. All right? But the other three. Okay? Now, we must also know that for you to be able to do that nicely, you also have to appreciate the, what we call the zero product. All right? That if you multiply a times b and the answer is zero, what that means is that a itself should be zero. Or b is the one that should be zero. Or both. A or b. Both could be a and b, in fact. Could be zeros. Okay? That you also have to, to appreciate or to take note of that. So if a by b is 0, it means a is 0, or b is 0, even both, because 0 by 0 is 0, okay? Okay, let's look at the, the examples that we have. The first one, we are saying a, x, open bracket, plus 2 is equal to 0. So we are multiplying x by this one, x plus. So it's like we are saying a times what? Times b is equal to 0. We are saying a should be 0 or b should also be equal to 0. So meaning that if there is a 0 here, we are going to say x is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to what? 0 or both. This implies that x is equal to 0 minus 2 and the answer is negative what? 2. So this implies that x is equal to 0 and or if one can say O, uh, X is equal to, maybe we use O. Uh, o, X is equal to negative 2. All right, if you do the substitution, then the, uh, the equation will be satisfied. I hope that is okay. Then uh, we can look at this one. Again, this still follows this, the zero product. So when you multiply, well, these are factors, all right? When you say x minus 3 by x minus 2, it means you're saying this by this. So either this is 0 or that is 0, in order for us to have a 0 on the other side. So b, we are saying uh, x minus 3, uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0. What does it mean? Simply means, for us to get 0 here, you need to have Either three minus, uh, x minus 3 is 0, or it is the x minus 2, which is 0, or even both. Alright? Meaning that now, x is going to be equal to 0 plus what? 3. Alright? And x is going to be equal to 3. Or x is 0 plus what? 3. Which is the x is equal to what? 2. So these are the solutions. Now, remember, we are saying, when you are dealing with a quadratic, by quadratic simply means there's a possibility that you have two answers. All right? So you take note. Okay. I hope these are okay. Let's go to 
to C. What is C? C is saying x squared minus 36 is equal to what? 0. Alright? Here we are going, we can apply two ways. We can say x squared is equal to 0 plus what? 36. That's the first approach. So we have x squared is equal to 36. Alright? Now, there's a power 2 here. You must square root. Though we normally say we raise it to power half so that you cancel. But power half means you get a square root. Alright? So you, you square root here and square root there. So x is equal to... Now, the moment you introduce a square root, there are, possible, there are two possible answers. Plus or minus what? 6. So x is plus or minus 6. What we mean by that is we are saying x is equal to 6 or x is equal to negative 6. Alright? Now, what is another approach here? You can say, if I don't want to use this, we can factorize. Remember, we are doing factorization. We can factorize. By what approach can we uh, factorize this? Using difference of two squares. We can say x squared minus, how can we write this to have a square? We have 6 to the power 2. Alright? Which is what? what? 0. Okay, how do we factorize that? Here we get x minus 6. We had the representation on the factorization and the algebra. Again, check on that. Then there is the x plus what? 6. So again, the zero product here applies. Meaning that x minus 6 is equal to 0 or... Alright? So we can get uh, this uh, solution first because of the space. So we say x... Is equal to 0 plus what? 6. And x is equal to what? 6. Oh, instead of saying x minus 6 is 0, you can also say x plus 6 is equal to 0. So this will be x is equal to 0 minus 6. And x will be equal to negative 6, which is still the same as that. Okay. We can go to deal with d. I think this was the C. Yeah. Uh, here there should be it's an it's a quadratic equation. It should be zero here. Alright. So they are saying d we have x squared minus 2x is equal to what? Zero. What does that mean? We check if at all we can factorize. Remember, we are dealing with factorization, right? Mm, what is the common factor here? Our common factor is what? X. So, say X open bracket. X into X squared, you have X minus X into 2X, you have uh, 2 here. Is equal to what? 0. So, you have created this situation here now. Okay. So, it means here X is 0 or it is X minus 2 that is 0. So, or x is equal to 2, because, or 0 plus 2. So, x is equal to what? 2. I hope that is okay. So, you can factor out. If there is a common factor, try to factor it out first. Okay, then we go to e. Um, x to the power 2 plus 3x is equal to what? 0. Again, here you check for it. A common factor, but it's not right to divide through, otherwise, you only have one solution. So, here our common factor again is what x, all right? So, we say x plus 3 is equal to what 0, so it means x is equal to 0 or x is equal to what negative 3 because you are going to say 0 minus 3 and the answer is negative 3, okay. I hope that is okay. Then we are okay. Then we go to F. What does F say? It's saying 5x squared is equal to what? X. Alright. Now, this kind of a question is tricky. Alright. Now remember we are dealing with a quadratic equation. So let's produce a zero because that should be in this form. So 
we are going to say 5x squared minus x is equal to what? Zero. We have to produce this uh, to make our job easy. So we are going to say, now here we factorize by going for the common factor. Is there 5x squared and x. So here the common factor is what? x. Open a bracket. 5, 5 into x squared, uh, x into x squared, we have oh, x minus x into x is 1. Is equal to what? 0. So now, this implies that, or oh, therefore, x is 0. Or, oh, x is 0. Or, oh, it is 5x minus 1, which is equal to what? 0. So 5x is equal to 0 plus 1. Then 5x is 1. You divide both sides by 5. So x is 1 over 5. X is equal to 0 or X is 1 over 5. Alright? Good. I hope I'm making myself clear. Then we go to G. What is G? X minus 1. 3X plus 5 is equal to what? 0. Alright? So... Again, the zero product, what's here? So, x minus 1 is equal to 0. Oh, 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Alright? So, meaning that x is equal to 0 plus 1. So, it will be 1. Or, oh, you have 2x is equal to 0 minus 5. Which is e? 0 minus 5 is what? Negative 5. If I can just write negative 5 here. We have negative 5 we divide both sides because we want x so we divide by 2 by 2 so x is equal to uh, good this is the case but we can always um, give uh, our answer as a proper or uh, a decimal value or if, if you are using a calculator you can just divide so this will be negative um, 2 into 5 you have 1 the remainder is the 1 over 2, or you divide. But in most cases, I like fractions. Because sometimes these tend to misbehave. Alright, then we can go to H. 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 We have 2y squared. Minus 18. So it's equal to 18. Now. Remember we are dealing with. Um, a quadratic equation here. So we can try to apply two approaches. So. We go for the common factor. What is our common factor 2? Now look. See the difference. Here is 2. And why are we dividing after identifying the highest common factor? Here. Uh. Uh, maybe let me identify that here, All right? Which is the f? Why is the f here? We do not divide direct by the, the highest common factor because here the highest common factor was a variable. Otherwise, when it's a variable, you might distort the, the situation. But there is the number, so we can divide, All right? So we we'll have y squared is equal to what nine. Again, just like uh, we did here. In C, we apply the same approach. So we divide both because of a square here. All right, you divide here, but of course it will be plus or minus. So why? This and this will cancel, so it will be plus or minus what three. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use this approach, you can say apart from this, maybe I say or instead of a line, or you can say. 2y squared, I can take this as well as I produce a 0, minus 18 is equal to what? That, okay? Then you, we factor out uh, 2, you have y squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So now you can divide both sides by 2 and 2 there. So you have got y squared minus 9 is equal to what? 0. 
You can even take an another head or you apply now difference of two squares, which will be y minus 3 and y plus what? 3, which is a what? A 0. So y minus 3 is equal to 0, it means y is z, 3. Or y plus 3 is equal to 0, it means y is equal to negative 3, which will take you to the same. All right. Let's deal with the last part, which is um, I. Okay, so uh, I, 2x squared minus 1 to the power 2 minus 3 is equal to 1. Okay, so we can say, we can take this, uh, we can even take this the other side, or we, we add this additive inverse. So 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 3. So 2x squared minus 1 to the power 2 is equal to 4. All right? Now, because we have uh, a square here, take note, because we have a square here, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to, to square root here and the square root there. All right? So what we are going to have now is 2x squared minus 1. All right? Uh, is equal to plus or minus what? 2. All right? Then we can come this side and proceed it from this side. So all these questions come in paper 1 where you are not supposed to use a calculator. Okay, but that should not be an issue. So we have 2x squared minus 1 plus or minus 2. Alright, so we can say 2x squared is equal to uh, 1 plus or minus 2. Alright. So now what does it mean? We say 2x squared uh, is equal to 1 plus 2. We can take a plus first. So 2x squared is equal to what? 3. Alright? Uh, then you divide by what? Again, we have formed another quadratic equation. Alright? So you divide by 2. So these will cancel. Alright? So you have got x squared is equal to 3 over 2. But now, because of this, we introduce it again a square root both sides. So you square root here and square root here. So your x is going to be plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. You can leave it here because we do, you do not have a calculator for paper 1. Alright? Then, Remember we picked plus, so I have to pick minus. We say O 2x squared um, is equal to 1 minus 2. Alright? So now, here we are going to have 2x squared is equal to negative 1. Now, you divide this by 2, you divide by what? 2. So I've got x squared is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now, what you are going to do again is, you must put a square root here, but for the fact that there is a negative here, it means for this part, it has no roots, this one. It has no solution because of a negative. Of course, at this level, we say there is no solution. At an advanced level, we know how to get rid of this. But for now, you can, if there is a negative here, you can get a square root of a negative, we'll say, we'll say it has no solution, all right? Or it has no, yeah, no solution. I think it will suffice. How to, that is okay. Especially on this part where we have the a square there and the a square inside. That's why we have this kind of expression. So with me, here are the, the questions that you should try for yourself. Okay, I hope this presentation has been very helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to our 
channel and you can even share a link with your friends. Thank you so much.